is currently the afternoon it's about two o'clock here and i've done some errands this morning first of all let me just say hi welcome to the video today's video is going to be one that is highly requested by a lot of my guys by a lot of my guys highly requested by a lot of people on my instagram who have watched me do this on my ig stories so i decided to do a whole video on it and it's basically going to be how i pack and package my orders from oh so curly and also my business my new business which is the natural hair starter kits so i'm going to show you guys how i do it there's going to be like a collage and there'll be music underneath it but for now I'll just do a quick intro so i've just done some errands um i actually print the belly bands so these are how the um how the satin pillowcase are packaged so they come in a mesh bag and then they come like an organza bag and then they have like this belly band which is a piece of card that's printed that gets stuck around the pillowcase packaging so I actually had to get this printed from the print my local print store basically just from a cool quick I have looked into getting them professionally like printed but it just doesn't make sense for me right now the cost is high and this is much much easier so I got a hundred of these printed out and then all I have to do is let me show you guys yeah so all I have to do after this is stick with double-sided tape here and here and wrap around the pillowcase. I don't do this every single time I send an order. So what I typically try to do is when I get a big delivery of pillowcases, I'll spend some time and just like package everything so it's ready for to, um, to go for when I do get orders. So as you can see, in my hallway, there are some boxes that came yesterday. So we have a bunch of bonnets and pillowcases in here. This is again a wholesale order. So this is gonna go to Germany and this is going to Spain. It's not fully done yet. I've just written down what I need to package. And then over here we have the boxes for my natural hair kits, some bubble wrap because they need to be packaged really safely. And then we also have the um, bonnets for the starter kits. And then in here, we have my packets, envelopes, jiffy bags they're called. Um, I'll leave the websites for where I get everything in the description box. We also have stock of my shampoo brushes. All of the products for the starter kit are in here as well. So yeah, the weather outside is terrible. But basically today is a packing day. So um, I'm gonna start with the, hmm, what am I gonna start with? Hmm. I think I need to start with the natural hair starter kit. So what I'll do is I will build the boxes and then I will one by one package everything that needs to be in them in them so i hope you guys find this um video valuable i'm pretty much just going to make it a collage from now on and have nothing else to say really because it's pretty self-explanatory but yeah enjoy this video and if there are any more business videos you'd like to see please leave a comment in the description in the comment section down below and i will make sure to come and film it for you guys so yeah see
So right now guys, I've pretty much finished all of the boxes. I just need to put the sticker on them. However, I can't find the stickers, so that's another stress. Hey, but we'll get through it. Now I need to package some wholesale orders of the satin bin binnets, satin bonnets from Oh So Curly. A retailer in Germany has ordered 30 bonnets, so I'm gonna package these and get them ready to be sold to Germany. guys so it is the next morning I didn't get round to finishing all the boxes because I thought that I lost these stickers that need to go on the top of them so I'm going to finish doing that today and I'm also going to pack some Oso oh curly orders um fresh face as you can see no makeup on face looking dry um and while I do that I am actually going to listen to an audio book the one that I'm listening to at the moment on Audible is Napoleon Hill, How to Sell Your Way Through Life. If you watched my 5am um, videos or just know about my whole 5am journey, you'll know that I love to listen to audiobooks and podcasts. So if you are interested in any audiobooks, I'll leave the link for that down below. I do recommend Audible. I pay for it monthly and you get one free audiobook and sometimes you get different offers but if you do decide to leave audible you still get all of your books available so you don't you know lose the books just because you're not paying for audio it audible anymore so yeah let's just get straight into it why in a world where success is available to everyone do so few succeed his answer went something like this success is something achieved by the minority of men and it is therefore unusual and not to be achieved by following our usual likes and dislikes, nor by being guided by our natural preferences and prejudices. In other words, success cannot be achieved by just doing what comes naturally. Gray then said that the common denominator of success is forming the habit of doing things that failures don't like to do. Let me repeat that. The common denominator of success, the determining factor in outstanding achievement of any kind, is forming the habit of doing things that failures don't like to do. What are these things? Well, they're the same things that you and I, even the most successful of us, don't like to do. In selling, for example, the list would include regular systematic prospecting, thorough preparation for each sales presentation, a definite program of study and self-improvement, and perhaps most important, making the best possible use of our time. How are successful people able to form the habit of doing these things regularly while failing? 